So essentially, here's the deal. For the video for this week, I was planning on gathering a bunch of different overlays. So Steel Series, uh, NVIDIA Shadowplay, OBS Replay Buffer, a bunch of different clip recording software, and sort of bundling up and saying, hey, here is the performance impact of each in Tarkov, and here's the ones that you should be running if you want to run one, and what should you, you know, what's the best for performance. The issue is, is that there's a Tarkov patch tomorrow, and I wanted to have the video uploaded by that time, meaning that I don't have enough time to go through all of them. I decided to basically scrap all that and just do Tarkov, NVIDIA Shadowplay, and the OBS Replay buffer in the ideal scenario to try and show you what you, you know, what you can expect in terms of performance deficit from using some of these clip recording softwares. If this helps you, make sure to hit the usual buttons, liking, subscribing, and also join the Discord if you have any questions about any of this stuff, about content creation, about improving your performance while creating content or whatever whatever floats your boat, even Tarkov settings, whatever, whatever works. Also, you can ask me questions live on Friday at 6.30 p.m. CST and Sunday at 1.30 p.m. CST when I do my streams. So make sure you tune in for those. I ran just a couple benchmarks just to show you a rough guesstimate of where your performance should be when you're both GPU or CPU bound and the hit that you should expect from those applications. So open broadcast software, OBS, and the NVIDIA Shadowplay app with its instant replay feature. These results that I'm first selecting right here are for when I was GPU bound on factory. So I was GPU bound and running these settings that you see on the screen right now. Now you can see no replay buffer is at the top right here. You can see the orange bar is the average FPS that I was getting and also look at the yellow bar right there which shows the one percent low and there's a definition on screen if you don't know what that means essentially the farther that the one percent low average fps is from the average the more stuttery and less smooth the frame rate is going to feel so you can see that having no no sort of recording software clipping software was the best way to go obviously shadow play actually followed suit in second when I was GPU bound, which kind of shocked me a little bit, as with the Shadow Play, I was using their NVENC encoder. It's on the GPU. It puts some load on the GPU and reduces GPU bound performance. And that's what we saw here. And the ironic thing is with OBS, which is at the bottom of the list by a lot, I mean, it's 5% under Shadow Play and almost 9% under having no sort of clipping software. The ironic thing is, is that I was using my integrated GPU on my CPU. I have a 13600K and it has an integrated GPU that can actually record content for me. So I wasn't expecting it to have this much of an impact, but it actually did significantly downgrade my performance. And also to explain before we get into it, where you can find the OBS replay buffer and the NVIDIA shadow play, you'll find the OBS replay buffer in the settings right here. You have to go to the output tab and you're going to have to go to the replay buffer. You can enable this and set the maximum replay time to whatever you want. This will be the clip time that you'll record. Then you have to set a hotkey in here to essentially save that replay. So you can bind it to whatever you want and it saves that. In Shadow Play, you're gonna to wanna to hit Alt and Z, bring up the overlay, and then simply click on the instant replay button and disable the instant replay from there. Or enable it, I should say. So obviously, you're going to want to use no sort of clipping software for maximum performance. Pretty obvious, I would say. But having Shadowplay this far up was honestly surprising. I thought OBS would have uh, shot back a little bit more, but OBS significantly reduces performance more than just Shadowplay. So if you're trying to record just little clips and funny moments, it might be a better idea to run Shadowplay instead of, say, OBS and a big recording, because if you're struggling for performance, this difference in like 5% difference in performance could mean the difference between you being above or below 60 FPS, depending on what you're playing. Now here's the kicker. I'm gonna get rid of this and actually put my CPU results up instead. So let me add those in. These were the settings that I was using to enable a CPU bottleneck scenario. So where my GPU was not at 100% usage. And I also disabled post effects for this test. It was also on factory as well. And when you're CPU bound, no replay buffer, so no clipping software and the NVIDIA instant replay are identical, which to me made 
a good bit of sense because that software, Instant Replay, is using the GPU to encode. So there's no reason for the CPU to have that much overhead at all. You can see though that OBS absolutely tanks the performance though. I mean, looking at the average FPS, it's a 16% drop when CPU bound in terms of performance. I am using the integrated GPU on my CPU to encode, so maybe there's a factor in that, but even when I just had OBS open without any sort of recording happening, this type of difference was still there. So if you're trying to record and you are CPU bound, OBS is actually going to reduce your performance even more. Since you have that extra GPU headroom, if you have a GPU that can efficiently encode your video, then I would probably recommend doing that through Shadowplay and just clipping whatever you want to clip over going with OBS. However, as you can see with this frame rate, if you have a frame rate that's high enough, then obviously you could still use OBS. I mean, it is what it is. And if you're making content and you have several computers, one for encoding the video, then it doesn't really matter. But for this, if you're on a single setup like I am at the moment, using OBS can significantly hurt your performance, but it may just be what you have to do if you're trying to record long form stuff. If you're just trying to clip funny moments with your friends though, and just want an easy way to do it that's not that intensive, it seems like Shadow Play is the play. Having no sort of clipping software whatsoever is the best for your performance. And if you're chasing performance, you should disable NVIDIA GeForce Experience along with its overlay. If you want a guide on how to do that, along with deep loading your drivers, I have a NVIDIA or an NV clean stall video that I will link down below so you'll be able to follow that and clean up your drivers. I do it consistently and since I don't like GeForce Experience, I don't mind not having that overlay. But yeah, that's the gist of it. Like I said, there would have been more different applications in this video, but I didn't want to miss an upload for this week and there was an update tomorrow and I didn't want to have to go through. I would have had enough time really to record and edit and pull this out before that update dropped. So that's why I'm doing this like this. In general, I just want this to be a PSA for those who don't know about NVIDIA Shadow Play and OBS causing those performance hiccups just so that they knew. Also, for those of you who watch the channel a lot, I am still working on a latency video just going through a bunch of different topics, but that's still going to take me some more time because I want to make sure I get things right in discussing certain topics and applications because there's a lot of misinformation, like a lot to just dig through and a lot of clickbait to get through and it's it's just a pain. So give me some time to work through that. I'll try my best and hopefully nothing else pops up in the meantime, like this Tarkov update to get in the way. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for hanging out. I know this is sort of a simple video and kind of a expected outcome, but still, I think it's important just so people know. For now, though, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to pop into my streams, my Discord, and the like button. Make sure you hit that down below. For now, this will be Clem, clocking out. Later.